Now to the war in Ukraine and President Biden vowing to continue U.S. support for Ukraine in the fight with Russia. The president speaking in Warsaw, Poland today. CBS 2's Jessica Moore in our newsroom now with more on what the president had to say. Jessica? Oh, Christina Maurice, the president's speech framed the ongoing conflict in Ukraine as a battle for democracy. It comes just days before we mark one year since Russia's full-scale invasion of that country began. Today, the president said, quote, Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia. President Biden arrived in Poland to massive applause as he spoke to NATO allies inside the country, which is now hosting more than 1.5 million Ukrainian refugees. Thank you, Poland. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you're doing. Nearly one year into the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the president vowed the U.S. and NATO allies will never tire of supporting the war-torn country, promising more sanctions against the Kremlin this week and additional arms support for Ukraine. Putin no longer doubts the strength of our coalition, but he still doubts our conviction. He doubts our staying power. He doubts our continued support for Ukraine. He doubts whether NATO can remain unified. But there should be no doubt. Our support for Ukraine will not waver. NATO will not be divided, and we will not tire. On Monday, the president shocked the international community by his surprise visit with Ukrainian President Zelensky, the first U.S. president in modern history to visit an active war zone where no American troops are on the ground. Biden telling Zelensky the U.S. will have its back for as long as it takes and positioning this moment in history as a turning point for the future. There is no sweeter word than freedom. There is no nobler goal than freedom. There's no higher aspiration than freedom. Americans know that and you know it. And all that we do now must be done so our children and grandchildren will know it as well. Russian President Vladimir Putin just announced he was pulling out of the last remaining nuclear arms deal with the U.S. That deal regulates the world's two largest nuclear arsenals, and it allows the U.S. and Russia to inspect each other's nuclear weapon sites. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called Putin's decision, quote, deeply unfortunate and irresponsible. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.